my first instance uh, of drinking, I actually got pinned down at my local cricket club mm. um, and red wine got poured down my throat. How old uh, were you? 15. Pretty early on, um, me and other people uh, from Asian background, there was comments such as, you lot sit over there near the toilets, um, elephant washers, uh, the word paki was used constantly, and there just seems to be an acceptance in the institution um, from the leaders and no one, no one ever stamped it out. For the first time, I started to see for what it was. Um, felt isolated, humiliated at times, um, constant use of the word paki. Um, in 2017 pre-season tour, we were in a, in a place and Gary Balance walks over and goes, why are you talking to him? You know he's a paki. Um, or he's not a shake, he's got no oil. And this happened in front of teammates, it happened in front of coaching staff. Uh, we were on a bus trip uh, in London to Surrey game and we went past a couple of men with beard and it was like, oh, is that your dad? If we go past a corner shop or does your uncle own this? And this happened in front of, again, Martin Moxon, Andrew Gale, uh, club officials, and it would never got stamped out. Everyone saw it. Uh, but because the institution and the environment, it becomes such a norm in there that um, I don't think anyone thought there was anything wrong with it. Kevin was something Gary used uh, to describe everyone of colour in a very derogatory manner, whether that be publicly, uh, whether that be within the dressing room, whether that be opposition. This is an open secret within the England dressing room. Michael Vaughan has said, I think he said this yesterday actually, that his reputation is being trashed unfairly. What's your reaction to that? I think it's important uh, on Michael that um, we don't make it all about Michael. Um, the simple Look, it was a long time ago. Michael might not remember it, as I said about earlier, because it doesn't mean anything to him. But three of us, myself, Adil and Rana, have we remember to make one thing very clear. Paki is not banter. Racism is not banter. And for a person of colour, I think there's three people of colour on that panel, and one of them, um, chief executive, uh, I think, he's associated with National Asian Cricket Council, and CEO of London Tigers, an award-winning charity organisation working with rugby and football clubs. For him to come out and do an, again an article where he stands by the finding that Paki was used as banter, it just shows the scale of the problem we have. Is for a person of colour to actually start accepting that you're being treated differently because of your race, religion, is actually quite a tough thing to take. Because then you, after that, it, you're always like, why? You just want answers, but you never get answers. I started taking medication for my mental health, and um, it was tough, really tough. And the game as a whole really has a problem uh, in listening to the victim, and it's, it's been... Gaslighting, it's been, yeah, but, yeah, but, but there is no yeah, but to racism. There is no two sides to a story when it comes to racism. Mm. What's happened to me has happened. It'll never change. But my aim was to try and see if my experience can help others. Clearly, the word institutional um, is something no one wants to be associated uh, Institutional racism is something no one wants to be associated with. My Allah's been with me, uh, good people. Uh, good people who are not racist want to look the other way.